engineers said they may have found a virtual solution to a very real-world problem. Their virtual reality simulator might help police officers avoid having to shoot suspects. Jeremy Harris is live with more on this. And Jeremy, how is this different than the training that cops get right now? Yeah, Ron, very windy out here. But yeah, the cops receive a lot of training already with regards to de-escalation and using verbal commands to help de-escalate any situation involving perhaps an agitated or armed suspect. But now this team of engineers at the University of Utah says they think virtual, virtual reality is the solution to helping cops avoid officer-involved shootings. It's become kind of a national crisis. This intense body camera video shows the moments before an officer-involved shooting in Salt Lake City. It is scenes like this that inspired a team of engineers here at the University of Utah to try and come up with something to help cops train for and perhaps avoid situations where they open fire on suspects. We looked at what was out there and it was kind of like a light switch. It was like shoot or not shoot. Is it legal for us to shoot or not shoot? And and we want, what we decided is we want police officers to be thinking uh, more broadly. That means opening up the simulation to more than just when to shoot and when not to. There are a hundred different things they could do uh, when they're on the ground with someone. And with this virtual reality headset, the officer can make his way through a simulated house and then find an agitated suspect in a garage. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing here? Then, through the officer's voice tone and hand positioning, the suspect responds to the prompted commands, which are aimed to de-escalate the situation, which they say is the goal. This affects everyone. If a police officer dies or if a civilian dies, it affects the whole community. Yeah, if we can save a single life with this, it'll be worth it. Now, there's still a few a few years out from actually having this on the market. They say perhaps as early as next year is when this product could be available for sale. They also tell me that they uh, just won a big award in San Francisco from Microsoft for this. So looking good for them. Uh, in terms of whether or not police agencies will actually buy this product, you know, it is pretty expensive. Uh, they, you know, they're not really saying a price, but could be anywhere, you know, as high or more than a million dollars. So pretty high price tag on this as for whether or not police departments will buy it. That's something they say they believe they will be able able to find a market for. They say they're also working with state law enforcement leaders in the development of this to make sure that it's the best product available for police officers. So we'll see how their uh, how their venture turns out. Ron Mary back to you. It's amazing. It sure is. All right. All right. Any help they can get.